In this question, we will be combining this log expression into just one single log, okay? So here is the things that we have to do first. Look at the number in front of the logs. If there's any numbers, bring them to the exponent. The first one's good, right? Because we'll just have a one right here, technically. But the second one is not that good because we have the one half. But it's okay, it's just an easy fix. I'm just going to bring this to the exponent right here. Likewise, for the third one, we also have the five. Don't worry about the minus, just look at the five. I will look at the five and bring that to the exponent like that, okay? And then we will have, this is log x plus, the one half will be right here. So therefore we have log of y to the one half power, and then minus, okay, I maintain the minus. All I want to do right now is put a five for the exponent of z. So we will have log of z to the fifth power like that. And now we are ready to go to combine to just one single log. And this is how you should do it. You know at the end, because these logs are all the same base, right? So we will just have one single log and I will open a big parenthesis and we see some plus, some minus, so we know the inside will be a fraction. So let's get the fraction bar ready as well. Any term that has positive will be adding, it's going to be on the numerator. And any term that's been subtracting is going to be in the denominator, that's all. Just the inside though. All these logs is like combined together into just one, okay? So let's look at the first term. This is a positive log of x. Positive, and this right here will go to the top. So we put down x right here. Next, we add, that's all positive. Therefore, we put this on the top as well, which is we multiply, okay? Remember, when you're adding two logs, inside is you are multiplying. So technically, we are multiplying this, which is y to the one half power. And then, when you are subtracting, it's dividing, okay? When you put them together. So this, z to the fifth power, it will be going down to the denominator, z to the fifth power. When you subtract, put this down in the denominator. So this is pretty much it, and the final step is that we see here we have one half power for the y, right? And as usual, we would like to change the one half power into the square root. So finally, we will have log of the x stays the same though, because the one half is only for the y. This part will give us x, and we multiply by square root of y, and then we divide it by z to the fifth power, and we are done. This right here is it.